Welcome to Online OHS Training Tutorials. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use common features in the online OHS system. It is always best to log into the system via our website. If you have saved the link to the desktop, a good idea is to replace this link each four months and clear your computer's cache as the online OHS system is constantly being upgraded. Click on the login button. Make sure to watch the new feature video. This video will be upgraded each time there's been an upgrade to the system. When logging into the system, make sure to use the proper upper or lower case, as your username and password is case sensitive. There are three main permission levels in the system, employee, management and an admin user. The permission level will determine what page you can see when you first log into the system and also what you can do. If you are an employee, you have been given the site employee permission level. So when you log into the system, you will see the site icon page for the site that you have been related to. If you work at more than one site, then when you log in, you will see the site register, but only the sites that you have been assigned to. By selecting the view icon, you can see the site site icon page. The following section is an introduction into how to use common features in the online OHS system. The site icon page has a series of icons. By selecting these icons, an employee or manager can obtain or enter important data into the system. These registers are site specific registers, but will also feature items from the site which has been selected as your company's general site. How to log a hazard. Select the hazard icon. To add a hazard, select the add hazard link at the top of the register. Relate the hazard to the site that the hazard was identified. You can also relate the hazard to an activity or machine if applicable. Enter the hazard into the hazard field. Do not use any symbols as the system will not accept these. Enter a description and then use the calendar icon to enter the date. Select yourself as the reported by employee and then select add. You now have entered the hazard into the system. Select the Go Back to Site icon page to take you back to the icons. To log an incident, select the Incident icon. Complete the form. If the injured person is a visitor, select the Visitor radio button and complete the pop-up box. When entering the time and date, make sure to select the calendar icon and enter the time first, then the month and year, then select the date to submit it into the field. Select the add and proceed and then complete the injury type and body parts injured. Making sure to select the add and proceed to log the accident into the system. To obtain a safe work method, select the safe work method icon. Double click on the document which has been uploaded. If there is no document uploaded, select the first view icon to see if the safe work method has been developed inside the system. When you use a safe work method statement, select the signed document icon and a pop-up box will appear. Complete the form and select add document. This is an important process to show a history of use. To undertake a checklist, select the checklist icon then select the view icon. Click on the radio buttons to complete the checklist making sure to select the save checklist items or to print the checklist out, select the PDF icon, plant and equipment. Select the icon and download any manuals by double clicking on the document icon. When maintenance is undertaken for that item, select the green plus sign and a maintenance pop-up box will appear. Complete the fields and upload any relevant documents. Again, this will show a history of keeping the equipment in a safe working order. To obtain an MSDS for a chemical, Select the chemical icon, then double click to select the uploaded document. The same process to select an uploaded form. Again, to show a history of use, select the green plus sign in both of these registers and complete the pop-up box. To undertake an induction assigned to you, select the induction icon and the induction assigned to you will be listed on the left hand side. Click on the induction name and it will appear in the main view box. View the learning material by double clicking on the icon. 
Then, complete the quiz, making sure to select Submit after completing each induction. For more information, go to our website training room or book in for an online training session via support at onlinecompliance.com.au.